so I'm in the new 6120 and I've been going for a good couple hours and I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit intimidated when I got in but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it what I'm really enjoying is the fact that when I get to the end of a wind row, I don't have to put it into another gear. I can just slide it into the next. See, I don't even know the terminology for it. But I can slide it up into the next speed without having to push in the clutch, get kicked back in my seat, make the turn, and then change gears back into the lower gear. It was kind of weird when I got started because I'm used to going off of gears in reference to speed instead of actually watching the speed in miles per hour. So that's just taking a little time watching and observing how thick my wind row is and what my stroke count is and how a couple clicks either way make a difference in your stroke count but I'm starting to get it figured out I'm making adjustments right now so basically I live off of this little monitor and then my stroke counter which as you can see it stroke 17 that time and that's good um, when you get a little variance in your wind row, it's so much easier to make minor tweaks because you actually get to just roll with your thumb and it changes your speed. Let's see if we can watch right here just with a few clicks or rolls. And then I'm keeping my stroke count right where I want it. And so I watch what's happening behind me through my mirror. And then also for my screen that some of you might have seen before. And then my stroke counter. And then it also tells me how many bells I've made. And then if learning a new tractor wasn't enough in one day, it happens to be that there's just still enough ground moisture and humidity that, and the fact that we got enough rain that the grass got pretty thick that we were having a problem getting it fully cured. And it was reading just a little bit higher than we liked, so we decided to spray with preservative and so now I'm also having to turn my spray on and off with this little switch at the end of every wind row and then back on again so I got my hands full today but overall I am digging this new tractor and the learning curve wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be and I'm already getting the hang of it and feeling a little less anxious about it so I'm just going to go on belling and hoping we can get done what we need to get done tonight we've got today and tomorrow we're bailing and then uh, there's more rain chances and and by the way when I was talking about spring I don't think ever ever have we ever had the spray preservative in August? This is just nuts. But it is what it is, and we're just going with it. Because what else are you going to do? And there's Scott out checking the bells, making sure they're not getting too long.
making sure the preservatives coming out like it should sorry I, I get quiet cuz I have to keep looking at my stroke counter and my camera I got a lot of things going on at one time Not sure how much longer we'll be able to bill. I mean, since we're spraying, we're questioning whether we have to shut it off so early, but it's still a concern. Trying to get this field done. I got this little section here, and then on the other side of that pond that the camera's looking at right now, and then all that over there. Don't know. Not looking like I'm gonna be able to finish. I don't know how good you can see that. That's a 6120R Bell and Hated Day on this Eclipse Monday. Um, it's doing a great job. She really loves it. She's picked it up really good. We had a short little lesson on it this morning. She took off and had to look back getting late the only reason i'm spraying I'm, I'm going this late is because i'm spraying this stuff you can see that that tank right in front of the fireball oh, I, had, I had a uh a spray tank eclipse right there that was pretty good but uh we'll we'll have a we're, we're gonna do a sorry i'm trying to follow her in my tractor we'll do a little review on this tractor here in the next day or two and tell you what we thought about it and how it, how it uh, worked compared to that uh, that you know tractor we had. So anyway, that's it. Dropping bales. Looks like we're going to do about 1,700 or so out of this field. I think, and we're not going to finish it. We're going to miss it by just a little bit, but that's okay. We, we'll pick it up tomorrow. It's the thickest portion of this field. And uh, I better get back to picking up my bells. I'm not gonna get done. Definitely not gonna get done before dark, but I hate it too when I don't get done before dark because I can't really see that good. Light, the lights on this thing. I wish I had some more lights on this. I could put a, a light bar on it or something, but you know, I could do a lot of things with, with money. So, not that I, I don't have it, it's just you do this, you do that, you do this. Before you know it, you spend three grand on just like little stuff, and you know, I don't do that much. If I did a lot of night picking up, I would definitely do it, but I. I really don't do that much night. It's gonna be hard to do this one hand. But uh I don't do a lot of it. Wanted to show a little bit of the the John Deere Balin, our new tractor. We probably don't get a lot as much video as we should, but man we we have to uh, we have to get this hay up. So a lot of times we don't think about filming something. He's a beautiful tractor. That's for sure. Get out here, get a little bit of video. There's my, I'll be doing a review on that tractor shortly. 
It's uh, people who ain't like New Holland's will like that review for sure. Here comes Johnny D. Tell you what, John Deere makes a pretty tractor. It, it's a nice tractor. They do a good job with it. But, but like I said, we'll, we'll do more in our review here than we do for it. rake which is just a Vermeer painted green 1840 Massey and Agway accumulate plus 12 and I'm fixing to stick these for moisture because I had her turn the I had her turn the preservative off yeah that's that's pretty low this is day two and we finished all the billing for the fields that we cut down prior to our rain chances and he ran and got a buggy with fertilizer and he's at least getting fertilizer down on these two fields so that if we do get rain we get a good jump on the next cutting. sunset well I got my fertilizer down which y'all I guess are seeing in this video and uh, it's rained almost four inches since I put put the fertilizer down so <laughs> I'm, it's kind of it's this is a crazy August I've had almost I went from no rain in May, June, and July to, I'm already at over 10 inches this month, in the, in the last two weeks, 10 inches. And uh, it's, it's, you know, we ought, to, we ought to have a pretty decent third cutting, I'm, but I'm worried about the fourth. Well, you got a good jump on these two fields anyway. Yeah, I got a, yeah, I got a good jump on these two. Um, and that's kind of how I work my deal. I mean, I stagger everything so I never get, you know, caught with everything being ready at the same time and um, everything fertilized at the same time. I, I stagger everything because of this kind of thing right here. And and it takes me longer to get, even though I've only, you know, do what little acreage I do, it's still hard to get to sometimes, so. Um, so that's it it's it's i'm happy right now i just hope today's the last of it i know there's a hurricane down in the in the gulf that talking maybe sp might spend some moisture up here but um some people some some weather guys are saying no some are saying yeah so we'll see over the next couple days but it's supposed to end by sunday and hopefully by man if i don't get any more rain out today uh maybe i can cut by monday or tuesday that would be nice We'll so, see. Yep, we'll see.